Okay, welcome. It's Wednesday, 4 p.m. in time for a brand new I Rate Your Teams video. For cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. If you're new to the series, this is the series where essentially I showcase your teams on the video, give you guys any advice that I possibly can, and, and hopefully myself and the comments can help you guys make the right choices going forward to improve your teams. Now, if you want to be involved in these series, all you have to do is send me a hasty screenshot or two, depending on how you play in-game compared to how you start um, of your teams. Give me a brief in introduction or, or sort of just tell me about your teams, who's tradable, who's untradable, how many coins you got, and send it to me on the uh, hashtag it's Haber on Twitter. Uh, it has to be used the hashtag. Uh, I can't check the, uh, the app because... So many people tweet me, and I tweet so many times on Twitter every day that it just gets lost in my notifications, so the hashtag is the easiest way to find them. I record these on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I ain't going to tell you when I record them. I specifically don't tell you now to make it fairer for everyone, so make sure you send me them on Tuesdays and Saturdays. Let's jump straight into it. We're starting with Benz's team. Uh, hi, Haber. Keep the good work. Thank you very much. I uh, appreciate the support. He says, everyone is untradable, including the bench, except Saul. Longley and Testagan got 100,000 coins left. Don't mind selling or saving for improvements. Okay, this is a really uh, a fun-looking team. I like this link over here with the Dharma and Saul. I personally packed that Saul card myself. I'm yet to use him, but I'm looking forward to giving him a go at some point. Um, the back line's looking pretty strong. Uh, I think the first thing that we can look at with this team... Possibly getting Scream Chippier over Audrey Zola. Now, the reason I say that is because Audrey Zola is got good pace uh, and not bad dribbling, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think he's got four-star skills too, but he's pretty weak and his defensive ability is pretty... Uh, well, he's pretty non-existent, I'm not going to lie. I've used that card myself. I used to use him when I was using Bale for a while and... I'm not going to lie, the card just didn't really do it for me. Didn't really enjoy him. Uh, you can bring in Scream Trippy and get the Link with Soul still. Uh, and that will allow you to uh, to get full chemistry there. Um, next thing I would say to do is... I'm looking towards that... Uh, that that Not Scream, Bernardo Silva. That um, play mode is Bernardo Silva. Playing him off chemistry, I'm not the world's biggest fan of doing that. Uh, obviously, I understand why you're doing that. Um, I'm thinking maybe start the grind now obviously we've just got the new player moments uh sane released i'm thinking maybe starting the grind towards that might not be the uh, the worst idea in the world doing some 81 plus packs grinding the club in a in a controlled manner wouldn't be the worst thing in the world now lero sane is a very expensive card right now um i'm not entirely sure exactly how much he is i think he's over 500k though i'm not saying do the whole card right now but what I'm saying is this card, if I'm uh, not mistaken, it never expires. It's out forever. This won't be a bad idea to start grinding towards this card because uh, the way I look at it, six foot is actually uh, really nice for a pacey winger. Great agility and balance, fantastic pace, good finishing, great composure, four-star skills. Three-star weak foot lets him down a little bit, but it's no different to Bernardo Silva. Uh, 88 stamina, 79 strength, which is also good. This card you'll find will be uh, will be good against right-backs and left-backs. You know, he'll be strong against them, fast against them. We'll be, you'll be finding that he'll be able to get down the wings very well against those. And he's got good passing and crossing and stuff. I think that for the time being, obviously using Bernardo off chemistry won't be the worst thing in the world. Uh, but if you slowly start the grind towards maybe, Bernardo, uh, maybe going for Sane, um, and if you get some duplicate and tradable high rates and things like that from 81 plus packs and, and, and things like that, you'll find that it won't be too difficult to complete and you'll actually start completing it quite, quite quickly and quite efficiently. Um, and eventually when you can use that card, I think you'll uh, you'll enjoy having a better left wing on full chemistry than having Bernardo Silva off chemistry. That's just my personal opinion. Um, the reason why I don't like using players off chem so much, it's not that I think they play worse. It's that chem styles, in my opinion this year, are huge. Um, you know, the amount of center backs and stuff, stuff like that that catch attackers because of a shadow chem style, the amount of attackers that can uh, outstrength people because of a chem style and things like that. You know, chem styles seem really prevalent this year in gameplay. Uh, when you play someone off chemistry, they essentially lose stats, meaning that the chem style you apply doesn't have as much effect and they don't feel as juiced in game. Um, so you, you'll find that pretty much they, they don't play as well. So uh, I would recommend uh, chem styles. Now, I know you are playing uh, a narrow formation here with Sane at Cam. I think it would be a pretty cool uh, card to have overlapping. Uh, one thing I would say is that... Sizoko as a left centre mid in this setup, in my opinion, is not the world's best solution. I think that your midfield is a little bit defensive here. Uh, and I think that maybe you could possibly look to improve the midfield in a way 
Um, that is making it a little bit more attacking. Now, looking at the players you've got, obviously, you've got French links, you've got uh, Hyungman Son and stuff like that. One player that a lot of people enjoy is, of course, uh, Paul Pogba. Um, I'm not the world's biggest fan of Paul Pogba. However, I, you know, if you're using him as a box to box, I'm not against it. Uh, I think that he would be a good box to box. I'm just not a big fan of him um, as a CDM this year. Uh, another good option you could possibly go for is maybe Sadol from Icon Swaps. That could be a good shout as well. Um, there's a few different cool options they can go for that would get you full chemistry and actually uh, help you out. And if you went with Sadol and Icon Swaps, you could even go with Nelson Tomato at right back. Um, another good shout there. But no, I think this team is pretty fun. I, I like that link. That link looks pretty fun i might look to do that link myself if i'm uh using a, a different sort of team whether i do a challenge or something for fun champs i'm not entirely sure um but it's definitely a fun team the next one coming from ben which says i've got 200,000 coins at the moment and everyone's untradeable uh who should i go for from my consoles and should i change anyone let's check it out okay so i see you've done sane let me know down below how he is i haven't used him yet and i'm uh i'm gonna gradually complete him over the time and see uh see how he performs i have already done playing with hazard so it's really Kind of annoying, a bit of a kick in the teeth from EA that they've released two left wings with that never expire. It would be nice if they gradually released every position rather than two left wings. Like that it kind of annoys me a little bit. Why couldn't we get a good sentiment or a good centre back to grind towards? Instead, we're getting another left wing. Really annoying, but it's EA at the end of the day. They they do what they can and uh, and, and everything that they do kind of annoys us. Anyway, um, looking at this team... Uh, I like the, I like the look of the team. Now you're playing. I'm guessing a four-two-three-one. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I like you playing. Obviously, Sane and Walker on the opposing wings for the cutting inside. I do respect that. Uh, I would do the exact same. Um, I'm not. The thing is, I wasn't massively convinced with the Walcott. This guy, don't get me wrong, is a good super sub, but I wasn't massively. Uh, overwhelmed by him now how many coins do you say you had you have two hundred thousand coins um how much is this adama triore spc is it if it's still out that is uh where is it the headliner one um expires on the 24th so you've got three days left for this card if you can grind this card after getting yourself some uh div rival and tradable rewards I would say go for that Adama Traore headliners card over here at right wing. I think he'd be a much better cam than Theo Walcott. And I think you'll definitely benefit more from him. Um, looking at the team as well, uh, was there anything else I'd change? I obviously see why you're using Werner. Uh, although I'm not the biggest fan of playing people of chem, I do understand why you're using him. And uh, I would I would recommend carrying on using him. I don't see anyone you've got on the bench or who you can buy for 200k that would massively improve your, improve your squad more than that Werner card. So I'd, I'd say just keep him for now. I like the setup though. The team definitely looks good in game. Um, and I like that Dalbert card as well. I like how you guys are using so many SBC cards and stuff. It really, uh, it's definitely a nice change. I feel like last year, everyone used very, very similar teams. And I know you guys say all the time in the comments, you recommend the same players, blah, blah, blah. I don't recommend the same players though. Um, I do like Furlan Mendy. Yes, all right. I do like him, but I don't recommend him every time. I didn't recommend this guy Furlan Mendy, did I? All right, shut up. <laughs> um, that's a joke, by the way. I, I just want to quickly clarify that I don't, I'm not going in on you guys when I do that. It, I'm trying, I'm trying to joke. Most of you guys get the joke though, so it's cool. Um... Next one coming from Forstus, who says, 4-5-1 is my starting formation. I changed to a 4-2-3-1 in game. Ronaldo Vieira Desai is untradeable and other SBC cards. Uh, I know that Neuer is uh, only on 8-chem, but it doesn't really make the difference. What should I change? Got 2 million coins. I mean, if you feel like he doesn't make the difference, then fair enough. Uh, let me just tell you now, I've played against a few 8-chemistry goalkeepers, and they've made some very big mistakes, in my opinion. I would say... Uh, no, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm going off what you just said. You know, you've got an expensive SBC card here in, in David Luiz. I, I'd personally go with Lloris in goal. Lloris, if you guys have ever used Lloris, back me up in the comments if you guys have, or if you guys have ever played against Lloris. He's a nightmare to play against. He saves everything and he's always incredible. Uh, but you've got 2 million coins. You've got a lot of coins to work with here. Uh, what else would I change? I would change Dybala here. Let me turn, let me see where Dybala is playing for you. Uh, what? Why is Dybala playing CDM? Do you say you bring anyone on? Um, you, I'm guessing you bring somebody on for Dybala. I really hope you're not playing him at CDM. Unless you play Socrates at CDM. 
if you're playing Socrates Central Cam and you're, you bring someone on for Dybala, I would say stop doing that. And just for 2 million coins, get yourself Middle Matthias over here at, at right CDM. Baby Vieira is going to do work for you at left CDM. Middle Matthias is going to roam the pitch really well for you at, at right CDM. Um, you know, he's, he's small, agile, but very strong, very good at tackling, uh, very good on the ball. I would say uh, work with Middle Matthias over there at right CDM uh, instead of getting, uh, instead of having Dybala and then swapping somebody on like Gerald or something. Um, it's just going to save you a sub uh, and allow you to have more subs later on in the game. Uh, then you could like replace maybe like one of your players with like Ryan Kent, for example, uh, on the bench who you've got, who my face cam might be blocking. Um, and that'll allow you then a really pacey player to come on late in the game and possibly, um, you know, rinse somebody's really tired defence. The next one's coming from Kenzie, who says, I have no coins, but I'm willing to save. Werner, Talisa, Goretzka, and Semedo, and Longley are tradable. The rest are untradable. Give it a good work. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. Let's check it out. So, PK's a big no-no. That card's got to go. That card's got to go straight away. Uh, what I would say for this team is I would relinquish De Gea to the bench, possibly. I know it, that's going to be tough because it's an SBC card. Um, but I don't, like I said, play, like goalkeepers on 8chem, they just make so many mistakes. Goalkeepers make mistakes in general, but especially ones on 8chem. What I would say is you want to save up, uh, relinquish De Gea to the bench or reserves, maybe use him in SBC if you need to for fodder, uh, move Longley out to right centre-back, get Varane left centre-back and get yourself uh, to Stegen in goal. Obviously, you can't do that now. You've got to save up towards that. Um, but I would say uh, that's definitely uh, your future plans for this squad. Get yourself uh, long lay, uh, right centre-back, Varane left centre-back uh, to Stegen in goal. Apart from that, I think the team is solid. A very nice setup. Um, the next one is coming from Sir Reginald von Bartlesby. What a name. What a name. Um, he's, this is the way of playing game. Cancelo, Tellers, and Alan, Alan Ronaldo are tradable at 250k spare. Oh, my word. <laughs> well, then. This guy's got team of the year, Ronaldo. Um, firstly, first things first, how is that team of the year, Ronaldo? I haven't used that. I have been very close to buying that card several times, and I haven't actually ever pulled the trigger, although I've been very close to. Uh, that card looks ridiculous. The only thing that ever puts me off is that 78 balance. I don't know why. It just puts me off massively, uh, and I have no idea why. Uh, but yeah, it just it does that all the time. Uh, anyway, with this team, you play, like you said, you play a 4-2-3 one in game, do you play? Or you don't? Oh, this is, what, this is where you play in game. Sorry, it's the last person I think that said that. Um, what would I do with this team? You got 250k spare. I'd replace James Madison. I see why you've got him. Obviously, an attacking player there. With 250k, I think Kevin De Bruyne is definitely a better option. Uh, the best version of Kevin De Bruyne you can afford is definitely a better option there than James Madison. I would say get Kevin De Bruyne, buy a hunter for him, um, and play him over there at right centre mid. I'd also replace the chem style on Allen for maybe an anchor or a catalyst. Uh, the reason I say that is because whenever I've played a three midfield formation like this with no CDMs and the only back line you've got after that is your actual defense, uh, I find you need pacey midfielders and not to say they're not pacey, but they don't have heaps of pace without chem styles on. So I would use pace chem styles on all your midfielders. Uh, I find that helps me a lot with catching, uh, catching plays and stuff like that with my midfielders. Um, but that, that, that like front three is incredible. That front three looks really, really good. Um, this team looks incredibly fun. Uh, I like the look of this team a lot. It, it's it's definitely not average. Like not what's the, not average. What's the word I'm looking for? It's definitely not the same as what everyone else does. It's definitely different. You know, it, it's, it's out there, and I like it a lot. It's, it, it's outside the box for FIFA. Uh, the next one coming from Anthony, who says, "Hey Haber, I've got three hundred thousand coins, and here is my team. I play the same in game, and everyone's untradeable except Walker, Pepe, and Martial." I've also sold Edison and have foot Mr. Hayer. Thank you. Hey, no worries, bro. Uh, let's check it out. So, um, interesting team. You have 300,000 coins. Uh, I like this foot Mr. Gabamin. That card against me has been incredible. I would say play Juan Mata as a... I'd say play the full 1-2-1-2 brackets 2 with the cam. Play Juan Mata as a cam. Uh, unless you're loving Ian Wright, I would say... Because for me, that Ian Wright card did not play amazingly. And I just want to double check. Uh, everyone's untradeable except Walker, Pepe, Martial. Okay. Uh, so he's untradeable. I just wasn't a big fan of that Ian Wright card. Um, I would personally uh, play maybe maybe even going with a Gabriel Jesus at centre forward if you, if you want to uh, play this one. If not, I would say play Juan Mata at Cam and get yourself a box-to-box. -box. Maybe an informed genie Wine Alden wouldn't be a bad shout. Um, looking at the rest of this team, though, I think you've got good players in their positions. 
You could also go with maybe a headliner, um, Adama Troyer over here at right mid from the SBC. That would definitely improve your team massively as well. But the team is solid though. I uh, see so you've got some really good bench players ready to come as well. So obviously, if you're not enjoying uh, Ian Wright, you do have some sick bench players too. Uh, it's nice. I like the team. It is, it's a solid team for sure. Uh, moving on now, we've got Luger's aid, and then uh, we've got uh, Ushin's team as well after that, and, uh, depending on time. How much time we've got? Oh, we've only been doing 14 minutes. We can go for a little bit longer. Uh, I thought we've been going for a long time then, but we haven't really. Uh, anyway, we've got Lucas Aid's team. Uh, Robertson's the only tradable. Icons from Icon Swaps, uh, and I've got 60,000 coins. In-game will likely change, so I didn't add it. Okay. All right. All right. I feel that. So you're, you're asking if you should go for this one, this one, or or change this. Let me have a look. That looks solid. I like that. I actually like that a lot. Uh, that's also solid. I also like that a lot as well. Um, let me see if you can... What I would say is go for this, but instead of going... Re um, yeah, no, instead of going Renny Adelaide... Yeah, it's a good chat, actually, because if you if you play a 2CDM formation, this is what you could do. Uh, I would say go for this one. Don't get Zambrotta. Keep Mbappé as your right back, and then instead of getting Renny Adelaide, get yourself Lauren Blanc. Uh, now, what that'll do that'll do for you is allow you to play a lot of different formations. This will make the team very versatile. Uh, it'll allow you to play two CDM formations with Alwar as an attacking cent uh, center defensive mid and Blanc as a more defensive CDM. It'll allow you to play like a narrow 4 one 2 2 with Blanc as a CDM and uh, maybe Alwar and, and, and Havertz as center mids uh, and, and more of an attacking push. You can play a three center mid formation. You can play a 4-5-1 uh, you know, like you're playing here. Uh, and everyone will get a full chemistry still. And I think that will be a great way to make this team, excuse me, make this team versatile. Um, and then also, uh, I'm pretty sure you can afford that. If I'm not mistaken, you can afford that with Icon Swaps. And if you can't, then an easy replacement here is just not getting Hierro and using that Konata that you've got in your team, uh, sorry, on the bench, uh, instead of Hierro. And that'll allow you to to then afford the uh, Blanc from Icon Swaps. Um, when I say afford, I mean with the tokens. Uh, because looking at that team, like you've got a, a, an expensive SBC in Konata on the bench. You might as well use him, to be honest. He's a really solid uh, centre-back this year still. So uh, that team is really cool, though. I like that. And I like, I like the way you've done that. If you guys ever want to send me concepts for your teams, rather than say, you know, this is my team, what should I change? If you're thinking of changing your team to a different way feel free to send me a concept I, I you know i'm happy to check those out as well um whether it be a, a concept of, of how you want to change it or just a concept of the players you've got and the positions you need filling as well all are welcome all are absolutely welcome so we've got ushin's team now um hey hey but everyone uh, that can be tradable is and i've got a hundred thousand coins love the vids keep the work yeah appreciate it, man um he did say keep the good work, right? <laughs> okay, so keep it up. Okay. Sometimes I feel like I read people's compliments and they're not even there and I'm just big-headed. <laughs> um, anyway, we're moving on uh, to this team. Let's check it out. It's a shame you don't have Mbabu. Uh, one thing I, I think about this Shar card is for the people that did Mbabu, it's such an easy link and it's really cool. Anyway, uh, with this team, what would I do with it? Let me check it out. So Maguire is centre-back, although I respect it. You know, I'm a big fan of Harry Maguire. Uh, I don't think Harry Maguire centre-back is a good idea in, in any way whatsoever. I would play that Sanchez you've got on the bench over Harry Maguire. Um, I just don't think that, that Harry Maguire is a, a good shout in any way whatsoever. Uh, what else would I do with this team? I would say... Ooh, what, would I, what else would I do with this team? Um... I mean, it's a very interesting team. I'm not entirely, I'm not entirely sure about Inzaghi and uh, Benzema. Both of them, I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not, you know, I'm not certain on. Um, I would say maybe going into icon swaps and replacing that Benzema with a with a Raúl if he can. Um, I think that will play better for you. And at least Inzaghi's got the uh, the icon boost. That I, if you don't don't know, I feel like all icons have a little bit of a boosting game. They they feel a bit better. Um, so I would say replace Raul with uh, replace Benzema with Raul from Icon Swaps and replace Harry Maguire with Davinson Sanchez. I respect the Maguire though. The next one's coming from Matt uh, Haggy and De Jong are untradeable. Who should I upgrade and get from Icon Swaps? Was thinking Campbell, 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 Soul Campbell. There you go. I don't know why I always say Campbell. Um, it's just a P in there. Always throws me off. Like I grew up watching Sol Campbell as well. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, this team is interesting, man. I don't see people using this formation like literally ever. I don't know about your strike force. It looks very, very slow in my opinion. Um, especially Diego Costa. He's very sluggish. I would pos uh, personally say possibly upgrading that Diego Costa. How many coins did you say you had? Um, 
Don't say how many coins you've got. I would say a good chat would be upgrading that Diego Costa, maybe. Uh, he just seems a bit sluggish, in my opinion. Although, if you're enjoying him, each to their own. Uh, Campbell would be a good shout. Pretty good upgrade. Uh, I'm guessing you'd go with Campbell over maybe Puyol. Um, uh, with uh, Diego Carlos possibly getting an upgrade at some point. Uh, so, that might not be a bad shout at all. I really like the midfield. De Jong and, and Vidal are both incredibly solid CDMs. I'm glad you've got De Jong and Tradable as well. It always makes me happy seeing people get players like De Jong and Tradable when they have someone like Vidal. Someone that works really well for their team, getting them on Tradable is always nice. Um, I like that that Nabry lewandowski link as well. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I just think that, that Diego Costa adds a bit of a slow... Um, a bit of a slow vibe to the attacking uh, front. And I think that you can get people like Werner or players like that, you know, instead of uh, Diego Costa. But I think Campbell's definitely a good shout as well. That team's really solid though. How is a 3-5-2? I haven't used a three-bag at all apart from when I've been like all out attack. The only time I use a three-bag is when I go two goals down and go all out attack, constant pressure, and then I use a three-bag for that. Apart from that, I never use a three-bag. Um, next one's coming from Teodor uh, Milakovic, who says, Hey, this is my team. I have about 50k for improvements. Makalele is the only tradable player. Honestly, I do not know uh, what is my next step with this squad. Do you think you can help me with that? Uh, by the way, loving the viz, keep the good work. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. I see I see your issue. You've, you've been in an issue that I have been in many times before. You've got too many SBC cards, too many untradable cards, and no idea where to go from there. I totally understand, and I've been in the, in the, in the point at the same time time uh and in, in many many of the same ways that you have now what i would say the best thing you can do here is you've got to identify which players you can survive without now what i mean by that is for example identify which players you think are weaker links that aren't going to be massively missed in your squad for like is makalele a, a fantastic player for you are you loving makalele or can he be uh, relinquish to the bench and replace with somebody else. Uh, same goes for the likes of Guardiola or Alex Tellez or um, is it Miakite? I think the, uh, the 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 French striker or the French cam. Um, what I would say is identify which players you can live without and build a squad molding around the players you can't live without. Uh, I'm guessing Team of the Year Robertson is one player that you absolutely cannot live without. Same with Bernardo Silva. Um, the two French players I'd say are definitely uh, must-keeps. They are fantastic-looking players. I love the link in there as well. Uh, and just sort of mould a squad around the players that you absolutely want to keep in the squad. And uh, and, and and just be savage. And, and get rid of the players that you, you can live without and you can play without and you're not going to miss massively. Uh, I've been in the same spot and you just, just got to be harsh with it. Um, and you'll find that you'll, you'll thank yourself later. Because you can always bring them on from the bench, right? Um, and we're going to end off the team with MG21212's team. Uh, 50,000 coins. Mares and Oblak are SBCs. Sorry, Mares, Oblak, and SBCs are untradeable. 4231 in game. Keep it the good work. Thank you very much, bro. Appreciate that. All right, so uh, I see, I see, I see what you're doing here. Um, this is this is a really interesting setup. How you start in this, like almost no links wasted. Uh, it's actually really cool. I like that. Um, now you're playing 4231 in game. Suarez at striker. I would say, what to do here? Nice team, to be honest. I don't see a massive improvement you can make. Um, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Suarez. However, I think in your setup, I'm guessing you play slow build-up, which... I think Suarez would be good for. Um, so I don't, you know, I don't I don't think swapping him out is the best shout, to be honest. I think that's really cool. What I would definitely do is I would swap um I would swap Suarez and Diong in 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 the startup. Um obviously you're not getting full cam on Diong anyway, so so swapping those two won't be the worst thing in the world. And the reason why I say that is because it allows you at least for the kickoff boost to have a more attacking player further up the pitch. Um, you know, kickoff boost is pretty prevalent this year. So having Suarez as a cam rather than a centre mid means he starts further up and will get further up and be easier for the kickoff boost. But apart from that, I wouldn't change anything in the squad right now. I'd just save up for uh, for, for better plays, you know, replacing the likes of uh, of Riyad Mahrez eventually with maybe an icon, um, maybe go to Figo or something like that, um, or or maybe even replacing the likes of Ben Yedder with an Mbappe. People like that, you know, just, just gradually upgrading the squad in uh, in different portions that you can. Aside from that, I think the team is really nice. Uh, I like that setup. I like uh, I like it a lot. It's definitely uh, different. It, it, you know, I think it'd probably work really well, especially with the two tall players and the two agile players as well. Uh, it's a nice squad. But thank you all for watching this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you later.